Hi gang, Scott Davenport here. Well, on one released PhotoRaw 2020.1 a few days ago, I want to spend a few minutes in this video talking about some of the new features that are in this release. If you're an owner of Photo Raw Essentials, my book about Photo Raw, whether it's this printed copy or whether you have the digital copy, I'll be putting together the new material on 2020.1 very soon. It might be posted already. Check the first few pages of the book. It'll have instructions on where you can go to pick up an electronic addendum to the book with all the new stuff. Now, the first thing you're going to notice when you go into 2020.1 is this new tab in Browse called My Catalogs. Now this is what we traditionally had, right? We had the Browse tab and you have all of your folders and you can see everything on all of your hard drives that are connected to your machine. That's kind of nice because you can bounce around and find things and just go wherever you want to go, start browsing and start working with your photos. As you get your collection of photos in order, for me, I like to collect all my photos and have them in one place and that's where I want to work and I will take those folders and make them catalog folders. So on one will watch them and keep them fresh. Well, now there is a My Catalogs tab that shows me exactly that. Like this travel folder for me, these are all of my cataloged folders and I have everything in one place. I don't have the extra surround and the clutter in the interface for all of the other things on my hard drive that are not my photos. So this is a really, really nice change. And for any reason, if you don't like it, you can go into the Preferences in the General tab and choose Legacy Browse tab. That will hide My Catalogs, so it's nice. If you don't like it for any reason, on one's giving you a way to go and hide that. Another improvement in Browse is the Map View. So now we can select multiple images and apply the GPS tag to all photos at once. So if you go up into Photo and you can set the coordinates. We'll set it across all three of these photos. And in fact, they've given you a location tab in the metadata browser. So you can also copy and paste these things and blast them across multiple photos. So that's a very nice addition for those of us that like to do geotagging on our photos. A couple of other things that have changed in browse is filters is now called advanced search. I'm really actually thankful for that change. The term filters got very overloaded between effects filters and then filters for your metadata. This is, this is more appropriate, advanced search, so that you are searching your photos. You're looking to whittle down the view to just the ones you want to see. There's also a little search bar for quick, easy access up in the breadcrumbs area. So you can just type in a search keyword to quickly narrow down on photos without having to go into advanced search. So there's a couple of uh, tweaks there. Uh, let's switch gears and talk about some of the editing changes that have happened. There's some other nice things going on in 2020.1 in the editing space. In develop and tone and color, we always had this highlight slider. We can recover highlights. Well, there's a new option here for recovering highlight hue, and this helps keep some of the color tone when you're recovering highlights where you don't just have this kind of dingy yellow or dingy gray kind of area. It does a better job of maintaining the hue. Now for this photo, I obviously will have something blown out because I'm shooting into the sun. Let me do an experiment here and crush the highlights here, and I'll turn off recover hue. See how splotchy and white and unattractive that is. I'll turn hue back on and it's doing better. Now, of course, I still want to not completely recover all of that. I think I was somewhere around 20-ish like that. But this hue, even if I turn it off and on here before and after, it's helping to keep some of that color tone in those highlight areas that are being recovered. That's a nice improvement. One other thing, this is a kind of a small thing, but some folks, when they're finished editing, they didn't know you're doing non-destructive edits. Just go back to browse and move on to your next photo. Well, if you're confused about that, you already has been, you have done. I can say, great, I'm done with this photo. I'll click on it and I'm back into browse. My changes have been committed. They were already saved anyway. So there's a little done button there as well. Focus stacking got a couple of additional controls as well. So you go into select a bunch of photos, you bring it into focus stacking. We now also have threshold and sensitivity. 
Now, Threshold tries to reduce noise in smooth areas and just kind of keep things, everything fluid there. So as you can see, there's a default setting here that it uses. And if you find that there's certain noisy areas, you can push things up and just get anything that kind of looks like artifact to help smooth it out. The sensitivity control gives us more control about uh, how on one's algorithms decide which areas of the photos to use, like as the winners, as the areas that are sharp. So if you're noticing something that doesn't look right, you can change sensitivity and push it around. You can see in this case, pushing it higher is actually making it a worse choice. I'm seeing a lot more you know, artifacting in the shadowy areas. So in this case, the lower sensitivity setting was accurate. And that's really one of the reasons I'm sure it's down here as a, a default. But if you're noticing some sort of a splotchiness playing around with the sensitivity slider, it gives you a little more control to coach the algorithm and get a nice crisp focus stack. So those are some of the new features in Photo Raw 2020.1. There's a bunch of under the hood improvements as well, you know, bug fixes, support for new cameras. I've noticed it's uh, snappier and faster in creating previews for photos with lots of images in them, you know, hundreds or thousands of images in them. Uh, there's one other big feature called single image edit mode. I want to do a separate video on that because I think it's a little, a little large to try to squeeze into this overview video here. But I hope you found this useful. If you're running Photo Raw 2020, you know, do the check for updates. You'll see 2020.1 is waiting for you. If you haven't gotten it already, I'd say pick it up. It's got some nice new features in it. With that, my name's Scott Davenport and have fun.